Hey guys, my name is Avery. I'm going to break down my Tracker Grizzly 1448. It's a 2018 model. I uh, bought it new at Bass Pro here in Oklahoma City, uh, March of 18. The motor is the same. It is a 2018 four stroke, 25 horsepower, long shaft with uh, electric tilt and trim on the tiller. Um, it's a factory trailer. And then I'm just going to break down some of the custom work I've done to this. Um, just in case you guys have, have one of these boats, you're trying to think, how do I make it how I want it? These are just some ideas. I know we customize things to fit our, our individual needs. So uh, here's my 24 volt Maxim trolling motor, Minn Kota. I got the recessed uh, tray just for user friendliness, comfort. Uh, I can fish all day uh, with that. I've got a bad left knee. And this really takes some of the strain off that. So I appreciate, one, it being leveled, balanced, and then two, just the pressure kind of evens that out. I have seven inch Garmin's. They are touchscreen models. Uh, I really like them. I appreciate them. Um, I'm not real tech savvy, so I'm trying to learn the ins and outs of the Garmin for sure. But uh, up front, and then I'm, in the back, I have one of the same models, except this has the uh, side scan and it's touch also which i do like the gps i can go to the map bring up the lake blow it up for navigation or fishing spots and uh, i really appreciate that these are my rod boxes this is my tackle on this side my rods go on the other uh, here's my back hatch that um you know the spot's already there it just needed a decking so i did that and then here's three hatches uh, that i'll walk you through here in just a minute uh, this is my motor. Uh, it runs really well. It's still a good period. Um, and that is my jack plate. I had to get this thing up out of the water because it had just too much motor in the water for a long shaft. Uh, so I worked at it, worked at it, changed out the prop with OKC Prop Shop. Uh, they helped me and then I finally got it adjusted to where I hop up on plane really quick. My GPS uh, at about 26 top speed with it trimmed up just a little bit. And to me, I'm really happy with that. I didn't buy this for speed, but this does allow me to get up and get across the water in a decent amount of time. And if I had a fishing partner with their gear, I'd drop from 26 to about 22 miles per hour. So that's not a huge drop. I think I've maxed out the boat and motor. Um, and I think that's about where it needs to be. So I'm happy I'm gonna quit messing with it. I've just done that in the last few weeks. And I do like the guides, because when you're backing down, sometimes you lose these little boats, and it's just an indicator of where you are, one, when you when you already dropped your boat off and you're backing back in. Um, and then two, I do need to add some side bunks to this, because this boat will float up a little bit on you if you don't have your trailer just the right height when you're loading. So I'm gonna get some guide bunks, and hopefully that's some of the last accessories I'll add. But I'm gonna hop in here real quick and just show you some of the work I've done. Um, underneath the front deck, which is factory, uh, I have the 24 volt trolling motors. I'm sorry, batteries for the trolling motor. Uh, one on each side with the jumper connecting in the middle. And then I keep my net slid up in there and I keep my rope and then a couple of tools and the trays uh, just so they don't slide around everywhere. This is my rod box. The hinges I get at Lowe's, the stainless hinges. I don't like the look of hinges, so I try to conceal them the best I can. And then I have several rods and reels in here um, as you can see i usually just may throw corrados and falcon falcon rods and some of these are up to seven feet maybe a little over and i've got plenty of room i think i could do up to seven six in here uh, that is not fun hollowing out uh, the flotation the foam up front that is a lot of work so i just took a um, sheetrock saw and just got it you know manual saw and just got to work and finally got there just wear a mask and I hope you have long arms because mine weren't quite long enough. Uh, but I really like my rod box. I trimmed it out nicely. I've got the carpet there with the wood just so the rails don't rub up against the, the aluminum inside. I try to keep see, okay, really, try to take good care of my rails. Um, there is my control panel for my bilge and for my pumps, for my lights. And here is box for just my gear. I try to keep everything um, watertight. So all my boxes are watertight. Uh, still got, I use the Bass Mafia money bags. Um, those are handy. Everything stays tight. Uh, they're lighter. I don't have to throw a lot of boxes in here. And then back in the back, uh, there's my wiring. There's my main power switch to my um, 
panel just because you know if you leave it on all the time and you hit something you'll burn up a motor so that way uh, it's main power if it's cut off nothing gets on accidentally okay here's the back deck i've extended it obviously that's just wasted space so now me fishing partner I mean, we can separate, they can stand at the back, they can have their room. I've got my room up front. Um, here is my live well. I think I ordered these hatches through Bass Pro or Cabela's. It might have been Cabela's. Uh, pump, right, pump out, um, recirculate. So I can just pull that red button, everything pumps out, and then I'll drain whatever's left, which is just a little bit of water. And that just drains into the bottom of the hole and then out the back. Um, here is the hatch on this side which is my starting battery a couple of ropes fire extinguisher and the um, battery charger and then on this side I tried to wire everything the right way uh, I'm not an electrician I don't have a lot of skills when it comes to that but I can learn online like a lot of us do and I just have a bus bar fuse panel so that way if the fuse does blow then I know exactly where to go to and that's my that's my first look and then that's my pump out line there and then that's my other all my all my plumbing i use the flex hose and it kind of runs up underneath so you don't see it so it's clean and then i'm going to hop down here and go to the back so one of the things that i really enjoyed out of this whole process is using these zip ties now obviously are adjustable and you can reuse and that's the best system I can come up with now for this back hatch, which I know there's better, but it was the least of my worries right now. I just wanted to get it like I wanted it so I could get on the water. So it takes a little time, but really I don't ever open these unless I'm getting gas. So it's not really a big hindrance, uh, but I like the storage. Um, this was really easy to trim out with square tubing. Uh, there's my gas tank, six gallons. I rarely keep it all the way full. I run about four to five, um, about half a tank right now. And then, like I said, there's my flotation life jacket, bilge pump, my intake pump for my live well. And uh, I just don't get back here much. I'll get gas, I'll prime the pump, and then, you know, it's really just a great, great area for your an angler in the back to fish out of or put their, put their boxes, whatever they have. Um, so that's my boat. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, it's two years in the process. I do keep it garaged. I've uh, put, you know, time and effort into this, and I just want to take care of it. So it's, I don't think it's ever spent the night outside. I'm starting to use it more this spring. Uh, one of my safe places is the lake right now with our uh, COVID-19 issues within our country. So I don't mind getting out by myself on the water and just uh, trying to catch some fish. And this is my spare tire. Obviously, they don't come with one. I bought that at Northern Tool. Um, the mount and the tire itself, I think we're around $90. That's for sure good insurance. So I've added that recently. So let me know if you have any questions. That is my boat. I'll try to get this posted today. And uh, let's get out there and fish.